Hey guys, Brian the Cell Phone Guy here again. Today we're going to take a little bit more of an in-depth look into the new Sonom XP10, which is also called the XP9900. And we're going to look at a few more of the in-depth features that we didn't cover in the brief overview. Now, one of the things I want to mention, um, this one does have a couple of things on the back that I forgot. Uh, these two pins here are for when you put the phone into a uh, multi-charging uh, connector, which allows you to charge uh, five or six phones at the same time. Uh, this, But this phone also has wireless charging, and the wireless charging on this one actually works better than the wireless charging on my uh, Galaxy Note Ultra, so it's quite impressive. Now, on this phone, there's three hard buttons, the emergency key on the top, the push-to-talk key on the left, and the programmable key on the right. Now, all of these can be set to, to do different functions. So if we scroll down the menu and we go into settings, and then we get this to rotate properly, and we'll see programmable keys. So here we can choose which of the keys we want to do. So let's start with the push to talk key. And this one, let's just choose calendar. The applications key, which is this one on this side, uh, let's choose camera and the emergency key uh, will choose uh, contacts. Now, in this next section, you can choose how long you need to press and hold the key in order for this to take place, and this will prevent accidental uh, pocket pushes. So if we, this is the PTT key, so if we select this one, and let's say we want to do it for half a second, and then we can select the other one, and let's do that one for half a second as well. So now we have everything programmed. So we just boot out of there. And now if we push the emergency key, it launches the contacts. And if we push the push to talk key, it launches the camera. And if we push the programmable key, it launches the camera. And that's the easiest way to set this up. Now, the flashlight's another app that I want to show you. So there's two ways that you can launch the flashlight. One is to swipe down from the top, and it appears here. So if you push that, the flashlight is on. And if you push it again, the flashlight turns off. But there is a faster way to do this, and I'm going to show you that next. So the second way to turn on the flashlight quickly is to scroll down to Settings, go to System, then go to Gestures, and then here we have toggle flashlight. And if we turn that on and then go back, now what happens is if we shake the phone twice, the flashlight comes on. And if we shake it twice, the flashlight goes off. Now let's look at a couple of the security features that you can add to the phone. So again, we'll start off in settings and then we'll go to security. And then we're going to scroll down a little bit here. Now, I've already got two fingerprints added, but if you wanted to add a third fingerprint, you just put in your PIN number. And then you choose Add Fingerprint. And then pick a different finger or thumb and just repeatedly move it around on the keypad sensor. And it'll fill in and keep going and just keep moving your finger around until you've pretty much covered everything. If you accidentally hit the home button like I just did, then you have to start over again. So that's a little annoying, but it shows how to do this anyway. So let's just go with that. So again, we'll choose add fingerprint. And then we're just gonna keep roaming around. And this time we're gonna be careful not to let the thumb stray onto the uh, close key. And there we've selected the other finger. So now we just hit done and we're good to go with that. Now, if we back up one more, Smart Lock is kind of an interesting feature that I haven't seen before on the other Sonom phones. Now what this does, it, it teaches the phone to stay unlocked when it's either on your body, in a trusted place, so you have a location designed, or a trusted device is with it. So if you have this thing linked to a smartwatch, then it'll come on. So if you choose either one of these, so let's start with the uh, on-body detection. Okay, so we got to turn that on. And this says on-body detection can't distinguish between you and someone else. So if somebody else walks off with your phone, it's going to think it's still you. So it's not 100% secure. But after you unlock your phone, it stays unlocked while it's in motion. 
and it, it'll uh, it'll stay unlocked for about four hours or until you put it away. So this may or may not be a good thing. Um, if you put your phone down a lot and you leave it, it could come back to haunt you, but it's also gonna be locked with the fingerprint. So we've got a little bit of security there. One of the other cool features that I found on this phone is accessibility. Uh, and now what this does is it is designed to assist anybody with uh, hearing difficulties or vision difficulties to use the phone more effectively. So if you scroll down to settings again and you go to accessibility, right here we have a couple that are designed for people with vision impairments. So if we select select to speak, and then we turn this on and you got to allow it. What this does is it puts this extra button on your, on your handset. So when you go into a program and you're going to send a text, for example, when you hit the select to speak button, and then it gives you this little play thing here, what it'll do is it'll actually go through the, um, Location. Watch this when I push this play button. This. Hi. Emoji hand waving. Emoji open mouth smile. Open features menu. Voice input. Q. W. So what it does is it speaks what's on the screen for you. So if you can't see the screen properly, you can listen to the screen and you can follow the prompts. Now it does take a little bit of getting used to, but I find that uh, if, you, if you need this feature, it can be a very handy feature to have. And again, in the accessibility, we have TalkBack. Now, if you accidentally turn on TalkBack, this can drive you crazy. Um, but if you need it, it's a very handy feature. What this is gonna do is it's gonna speak back to you everything that you type in. So if you type in the letter Q, it's gonna speak back to you Q. And if you type in the word his, it's gonna speak back to you the word his. Now, this is important to know, even if you don't ever intend to use this feature, there may be times when you've accidentally gone in and turned this on and it's a very annoying feature if you don't need it and it can be difficult to turn off if you don't know where it is. So it's important to know that it's in the, access in the accessibility section and it's called TalkBack. Now, this left the icon here on the screen for the previous thing that we had up. So if you wanna get rid of that, you have to go back into settings and uh, turn that feature off and that'll take that extra icon off the screen. And to get that extra icon off the screen, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go back into settings. We're gonna to go to accessibility. We're gonna to go to select to speech and we're gonna turn it off. Now, when I first did this, the icon appeared right over top of the button. So it made it impossible to hit the button without hitting the select to speech button. So you just drag it off to the side and then you can turn it off. And then that, uh, that ends that feature. So these are just a few of the shortcuts that I've learned on this phone in the short time that I've had it. So far I've found that the battery life is amazing and that the call quality is uh, very good as well. So I've uh, nothing bad to say about this phone. I love the form factor. It's really about the same size as my Galaxy Note Ultra, just a little bit thicker. Uh, so it fits in my pocket, it fits in my wireless charger in the truck. And overall, I'm very impressed with what I have so far. So we're going to keep going. There's a few more videos coming as we get into this phone. And there's more coming on the XP5 Plus as well. So if you like the videos, please hit subscribe and hit the like button. If you have any comments, please put them in the comment section below. And I'll reply to them as quickly as I can. Thanks for watching.